Carmen? You're the one who wanted to meet me here? What? Annie? No, no, I... What are you doing here? Someone asked to meet with you? Yes. Yes, they did. I... I'm sorry. I saw you, and I thought that it was you who had asked me to meet you here. I take it from your reaction it wasn't? No, no, it definitely wasn't. I mean, I'm not opposed to running into you out here. It's just someone asked me to meet them out here as well. I... I saw you, and even though I heard what you said, for a moment I thought that it was you who asked to meet me. I... I don't understand. What don't you understand? I... I was told to come here alone. I... I got a note in one of my books, you see. It says, Armin, please come to the woods after dark. Come alone. I need to discuss something sensitive with you. I... I think that someone wants to meet with both of us, then. What makes you say that? I received a similar note. I took my jacket off during training. It was getting very hot, and I didn't want anyone to see me pass out. Later, when I picked my jacket up, there was a note in the pocket. What did it say? It said exactly what your note says. Except, of course, it was addressed to me. What? That... that doesn't make any sense. Why would someone want to meet with you and me? You and I barely talk to each other. We barely interact. Why... why would someone pick the two of us to meet with? I really don't know. To be honest, I'm a bit surprised that you went along with that note. I would have expected you to wake Aaron or Mikasa and ask them to come with you. I could say the same about you. You usually don't listen when people ask to meet with you or to speak with you. At least, around everyone else, that is. I'm surprised that you were willing to discuss something sensitive with whoever left us these notes. Well, let's just say curiosity got the better of me. It seems to have gotten the better of you. Indeed, it did. Although, that isn't so out of character for me. It is for you. You do realize that it's a waste of time to be suspicious of one another, right? After all, Neither one of us knows why we're here. Neither one of us knows who asked to meet with us. There's no point in asking all of these questions when the biggest question is, what is going on? I guess that's true. Whoever left these notes for us, they should be here soon. It's well after dark. You don't think we're late, do you? No, no, I don't think so. After all, we did both have to wait to be able to sneak out, didn't we? Certainly, whoever asked to meet with us would have had to do the same. That is true. Unless... Unless what? Unless they didn't even return to their bed after dinner. Try to think. Was anyone missing from the barracks when you went to bed? I... I don't know. I was so distracted by the note and thinking about what could possibly be going on that I didn't even take any notice if anyone was missing. What about you? Did you see anything? No. I usually don't pay attention to who's there and who isn't. Maybe I should have. 
Well, whoever asked to meet with us, I'm sure that they must have considered the possibility that we would be late, that we would have to wait for everyone else to fall asleep before we could sneak out. So, maybe they're just running a little late too? Maybe they thought that they would have more time to get here? That is a possibility. Wait. I hear something. What do you hear? It sounds like... Footsteps. Right? Over. Oh! Oh, it's... It's you! I... I didn't think that you would have left us these notes. Unless... Did you come out here because you got a note as well? Oh! So... So you're the one who asked to meet with us? Well, I... I certainly wasn't expecting to see you on the other side of this. If I may ask, why did you want to meet with me and Annie? It seems like a rather odd combination, especially if what you want to discuss is serious. Answer the question. I don't care if it's a complicated answer. It is very late, and I happen to be very tired. And if you don't start talking... Some of that tiredness might result in irritability. And do you know what happens when I get irritated? So start talking. Annie! Look at them! They've been shaking and, and fidgeting ever since they got here. Whatever they have to talk about is making them nervous. And you are not helping, so just, just let them answer in their own time, all right? Fine, then. Whenever you're ready, I suppose. Yes. Yes, we were wondering before you got here why exactly you picked to meet with us. After all... We don't have many interactions, and the few that we do have, they're very brief. I can't imagine why exactly you would want to meet with us. What? You... you've seen the way that we look at each other? I don't understand. Oh, oh, you noticed... You noticed that! Okay, um, why are you bringing this up? I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt, but... You noticed him staring at me? How long has this been going on? Oh, really? And you didn't think to say anything to me? Oh. You noticed that. I see. Wait, so all this time, I was worried that I was freaking you out and that you would notice me staring at you, and you've been staring at me? Let's focus on what they're saying. We can circle back to questions later. All right, all right. So, you noticed the way that we look at each other. What about it? What? You want to know if we're... if we're together? No, no, we are most definitely not together. Not that I'm saying that I would necessarily be opposed to the idea. I mean, I I didn't say that. I mean, 
It's just, I don't want to be rude. Annie, I swear that is all it is. Oh, really? Your face is turning bright red. I really don't think that that's all that it is. Well, I... Okay, fine. I definitely wouldn't be opposed to the idea, but we are definitely, definitely not together. Why... Why did you want to talk about this with us? Okay, I think it's my turn to say it. What? You... You were wondering if you could join our relationship. Well, even if we did have a relationship, which currently we don't, why exactly would you want to do that? Oh, I... Yes, I've... I've heard of that term before. Polyamorous. It describes someone who is capable of loving two people equally at the same time, and... And they want to be in a relationship with each person that they love. And... And in a polyamorous relationship, all parties love each other. It's all about equal love being exchanged between each individual involved in the relationship. So, so if I'm reading the signals of this right, you thought that we were in a relationship. You wanted to join that relationship because you are polyamorous and you're attracted to both of us and you want to be in a relationship with both of us? It... It astonishes me that Armin was able to correctly identify what is going on here with so little information and so much of a distraction. Well, when you read as much as I do, you learn to pick up on subtle cues and hints from the author about where something is going. And and this is definitely a situation in which it comes in very handy. Right, right. In any case, Armin and I are not romantically involved. There is no relationship for you to join. And as flattering as it is to know that you find both of us equally attractive and equally desirable, it... it isn't going to go anywhere. I hope you realize that. No. Don't do that. Don't apologize. It isn't because of anything with you. Truly. It's... It's not anything to do with either of you. I just... I am personally not seeking a relationship at this time. I have too much going on to even focus on anything of that sort. I don't have the time. I don't have the patience. I know that if I were to enter a relationship with even one person, I wouldn't be able to give them what they deserve. So it isn't you. Truly, it isn't. It is only me. That's it. Annie, wait. I... I know that you are very focused. You are very determined to be the best without even seeming to try. But... But I've also noticed that you seem so... so stressed. 
something is weighing you down, and maybe you're not ready to talk about it, but... But having people by your side, people who love and care about you, that... that can really help with stress, and... And you have two people here who can be that for you. Two people who can love you and support you and be there for you. We might not have a lot of time to spend with each other. That was always going to be the case, no matter what. We're in training. We're going to join the military. Obviously, we're all busy. But wouldn't it be nice for those days off, those moments between all of the chaos and all of the busyness, wouldn't it be nice to have someone to share those moments with? That's very poetic. But... I think that this conversation is over. We need to go to bed. Annie, are you really just going to leave it at that? Yes, I am. I will see you both at breakfast tomorrow. Wait. Wait, what? If what you're saying is true, and... You both love me the way that I love you. I think that it would be best to discuss this when we're more awake. This is something important, after all. And it will take a while to work everything out. And the longer we stay out here, the greater the risk that we will get caught out here. And I don't let the people I love get in trouble. 